I mean, I think we've always been a, a team that's really a stressed defense, you know, and, and uh, I think it's going to be no difference this year. I think the teams, uh, the best teams that we've ever had have always been the teams who have, who have really out-hustled their opponents, getting to loose balls and limiting a team to one shot. And I, I think we have the talent and, and the athletic ability that we can be real tough defensively. Now, we've been working real hard at it this week and, and trying to do some different things and see if we can cause some problems with the, what the other team is doing. But I also think probably the strength of our team is um, our basketball skills. And we have you know, some guys who can really handle the ball and really shoot the ball. So for us, trying to get into an up-tempo game, I think especially early is going to be to our advantage. And we're going to see if we can't you know, play up-tempo and get some wins. Because if it's not working, then we're going to have to go to plan B. I think what we're going to do is we're going to look to go up tempo, but we also just have to be real smart because uh, I, I, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to give the kids, you know, a, a whole bunch of freedom, you know, all the time. You know, we, we've talked about, um, you know, when we do go up tempo, it's a great time to shoot threes, but we also got to recognize when transition isn't there, we want to make sure that we slow the ball down and get good shots because I also think we run uh, our half court offense very well too. So we just got to get the kids to, to, to understand what, what exactly we're looking for. Still be able to push the ball, but just be smart about you know when we when we do go transition and when we just have a little more patience. Yeah, I think we're looking for a bunch of different kids. You know, we have a bunch of underclassmen, um, some seniors uh, who, who who played very well on the JV team last year. So um, it's really going to be uh, you know by committee, and, and that's why we're practicing to find out who can fill those shoes. And um, through the first three days, our kids have been playing really hard and, and really well. So um, I'm excited to see how we're going to do in our scrimmage on Saturday at, against Rochester. And, and that will make the picture a little bit more clear uh, the more we play. And, and that's kind of where we're at. The kids just need to play more and, and uh, you know, kind of get into the flow of things. And then, like I said, I think the picture is going to become a little more clear. Yeah, well, I think just as experience and talking to the kids, you know, it probably more almost away from the court, just kind of getting, showing those kids how to get ready for a, for a high school basketball game, you know, to play at a high level. And, and uh, just some of the off-court things that he's done already with the kids has, has been real helpful. And, and uh, you know, he, he's going to have to show the way in, in, in just about everything we do with him being our, our lone uh, starter back from last year. And, and I think the kids respond to him, and, and we're going to ask a lot out of him, but we wouldn't do that unless we knew that he, unless, you know, we knew that he was capable, wasn't capable of doing that. So he, he will, he'll fit that role just fine.